I've got all my footage now ready to start working with. I've got my footage, I've got my audio file, and I've got my still file down here in my project folder yeah, within these bins. So what I tend to do first is grab some footage and I'm going to work out my first edit, my first little trimming section. So if I hit play, you can hear me in the background doing some directing there, telling them that I've rolled the camera, I've started rolling. This is called lead time. And you heard me say action, that's really important. So now the, the talent, in this case it's John, he knows he needs to start acting after I've said it. But me as the editor now, I know this is going to be where I'm going to be setting my in point. So that button there is to mark in. The shortcut is to press an I on the keyboard. And now I've got my in point. If I hit play, John should start acting. So most of you are probably going to start using your mobile phones for shooting video. Okay, so we just said that. Let's make that my out point now, or my little trimming point. I'm going to click O on the keyboard, and now I've got my in point to my out point. This button here will take me straight to my in point, and I'll hit play. John doesn't start straight away, so there's a bit of a gap there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that slightly, just before he opens his mouth. And now that's my new in point. If I take that to there and click play. So most of so that's a reasonably good start there. Now, to get that on the timeline, notice there's nothing on the timeline first. When you first start your first edit, you need to actually go to your footage, do a right click, and go to this section here called New Sequence from Clip. There are other ways of doing this, but this is a, sort of a logical way that I think is fairly simple. So I'm going to click New Sequence from Clip, and there it is. My little in to out point appears on the timeline. I can magnify that by just scrolling that little bar there, click, hold, and dragging. And you can see as I hit play, which is my space bar. So most of you will You can see John acting there. I'll just tighten that up a little bit. There we go. You can see that a bit better. Probably going to start you. So there's a basic in point and out point. And what you can do now, generally after you've got the sequence already established within the settings of that particular video style format that you're working with, you can then grab as many in points and out points as you want. I just quickly put an in and an out there and click, hold, and drag onto your timeline, you can start editing to your heart's content. I'll just put another in and out point there, click, hold, and drag the footage, and bring it down. So now I've got three clips to work with, just simply on the timeline, working with an in point and an out point, and then dragging through. So that's how you do some very basic editing with the moving footage.